Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I pray that everyone's day is, is going well thus far. Um, before we go into this word of prayer, um, I would like to say that God, he loves us so much, and he's so merciful, and he's so kind. And I, I'm so grateful and thankful that I get to share the word of God with, with, with God's people on today. So before we begin, let's let's have a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just want to say thank you, God, being so merciful and so kind to us all. Thank you, Lord, for being long-suffering toward us. We thank you, Lord, that these words will go out, God, and prick the very hearts of man. And we pray, God, for those, Lord, God, that have turned their backs, God. We pray, Lord, that they will come back, that they will realize, God, that you are married to the backslider. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so our word today is attachment. And I would like to read a scripture. That scripture is Proverbs 4 and 23. And it says, Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. And I have one other scripture. And this scripture is uh, Jeremiah 17 and 19. And it says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? You know, sometimes we have stuff in our hearts that we don't realize that it's there until something, it, it gives you a trigger. That person, that particular thing, something that we are watching that we shouldn't be watching. But God, he's so merciful and so kind, he give us a chance to get things right, to examine our hearts, to see where we are in the faith. We thank God on today for, for, for having mercy on us, for giving us a chance to examine our hearts, to see where we are, that when we say we love people, do we really love them? Do we really care about them? Do we go and see about them? Do we give them a call? Are we praying for them? Lord, we thank you for your mercy. We pray for everybody. That's, that, that's listening and those that will listen later on. We pray that, that the Lord have mercy on us all. Lord, we ain't perfect. We all have come short of the glory of God, but we thank God for giving us a chance to get it right. And while we have breath in our bodies, I pray that we all will come back, that we all will continue to examine ourselves, examine the heart, see what's in that heart. The, the word say is desperately wicked. When, when you see stuff in yourself, I, I I believe that we should. And this is what I do. I deal with it. And I'll be like, Lord, I didn't even know that was there. But I thank God for loving me so much to give me a chance to get it right. You know, when, when, we, when we won't live in right, and, and sometimes we still mess up and say or think. We got, when and them thoughts come to our mind, we got to cast them down. God said, cast them evil thoughts down. We have to walk in our authority. God has placed, given us authority. We sit in heavenly places. We, we got to cast them evil thoughts down. We, we, we can tread upon serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy. God didn't give us this power for nothing. We supposed to be casting out demons. They supposed to be afraid of us, not we afraid of them. I thank you, Lord, that I know who I am. I, I didn't know a few months ago exactly who I was, but I thank God that I know who I am. We are, I am, the righteousness of Christ Jesus. And greater is God in us than the devil that's in this world. We got power over the enemy, and we got to walk in it. We can't let him keep on stepping on us and doing what he want to do. We got to know exactly who we are and we got to walk in it. Walk in your calling. Do what God called you to do. Be able to lay hands on somebody that's sick, somebody that's demon possessed. We lay hands on them and them demons, they got to go because we got power with God. You got power with God. I got power with God. And then when we connect together, all that power diabetes, cancer, HIV, AIDS, sickness, disease, mental illness. It's got to go. It's got to go. Whatever problem, alcohol, you, you go on drugs. You don't want to be like that. You want to come out. You want to come out. Find some somebody, somebody living holy. 
Somebody is living right. Call somebody. Seek for godly counsel. Don't go get counsel from people that ain't saved. They're giving you stuff off the top of their minds. No, you need counsel from the Lord. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he's near. Call on him while you got a chance. Call on him. He, he, he listening. Don't just sit back and, and walk in pride. Pride, pride is not a good thing. It's not a good thing to have pride. While you got a chance, while you still got breath in your body, call on the Lord. Call on him. He waiting on you. Just call on him. And don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed of God. Why would you, would you be ashamed of somebody that give you life, somebody that give you breath? You ain't just existing to be existing. You, we are here because we have purpose in the earth. And I pray in the name of Jesus that we all complete our assignments before we leave this earth or before we are caught up. God, I thank you, God. And I pray that on this evening, I pray that your day goes well. I pray that for those that are working in the hospitals, uh, uh, the, the, the doctors, the nurses, the technicians, those that you come in contact with. If you say you sanctify, you feel with God's spirit. Say prayer with those people that's about to go off into eternity. Some going off and, and they don't even know Jesus in the pardon of their sins. Why you in there? The janitors, who those that clean up the hospitals. Why you in there? You say a prayer. Pray for them people. Them people about to go off into eternity. A lot of them going to hell because they don't know. And then we got to live a life before people because you know some people are watching us they watch they watch every little thing we do now we ain't perfect y'all we are we are not perfect but i will say this we got to live holy because people need help people are dying they need help they about to go off into eternity eternity what is eternity it's forever it don't never end and if you go to hell, it's forever. Ain't no exit doors. You don't never get out. Never. You will never get out. You don't, it's saying you don't even get no rest in hell. You don't go to sleep. And you'll never be in the presence of God. His presence will never be there. So I say to you on today, follow after God. Go after him with, with, your, with, with all that you have within you. Run for your life. The devil ain't playing. He trying to take as many of us as he possibly can. And for anybody that somebody told you hell won't real, they lied to you. Hell is a real place. And we don't want to go there. We want to please God. We want to hear him say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Come on into the house of the Lord. I love to hear that. I love to, to hear that spoken. And, and I just, I love to hear that because that's a good thing right there. That's what we want to hear. We want to hear the Lord say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. So if it be the Lord's will, I thank and I praise God. I'll, I'll be back. But before I leave, let, let me let me help somebody get to the Lord that don't know the Lord in the pardon of their sins. Now, if you don't know Jesus, if you have never given your life to the Lord and you want to get saved on today, all you got to do is ask God to forgive you of your sins. Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, I believe that you are the Son of God, the true and living God. Now, if you believe that, that, that Jesus died for your sins and that he rose again, you are saved. And you can find that in Romans 10, 9 and 10. Now, now, now what you do now, if you mess up, if you do something that ain't right, just repent. But don't 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 be practicing sin. Now now don't practice sin. But God will help you to come out of sin if that's what you want. He'll help you. So get in your word. Read read your Bible. And before you read, ask God, Lord, give me wisdom. Lord, give me some understanding. Lord, help me to understand what I'm reading. And He will help you. Until we meet again, if it be the Lord's will, I'll see you in the next video. I love y'all. Goodbye.